Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Major Slack Videos, your first stop for titillating tactical gaming, and this is my second walkthrough for the summer of 2013, Deus Ex Human Revolution. Surprise! Yeah, <laughs> as of this recording, nobody got this. Um, I ran a little contest in my the last video of the Far Cry 3 Hardcore Ramble Run, saying guess which two walkthroughs I was going to do, and nobody guessed this. Everyone guessed Bioshock Infinite, but nobody guessed this. I'm going to play this baby on the medium difficulty setting. I'll explain all about that later. Um, I'm already doing Bioshock Infinite on hard, so I'm going to play this on medium. Um, that will cut down on my workload. And for the next 10 minutes, there's going to be a whole bunch of cut scenes and story shmari and basically kind of setting up the game and whatnot, NPC chit chat and stuff like that. So I'm going to shut up and I'll be back in 10 minutes to explain all about this walkthrough. All right, see you in 10. Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the post it. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's Science Board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Saref wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Hey! Stop reading my email. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. 
but the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOC cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double-check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of... Eric! You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading as it turns to must theory. Be I'll ask David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. not all Just another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie! Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the typhoon. Yes. Thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do to improve the time. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life, everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah, he is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. No, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers, Athena. You know. It transmits data to our dedicated satellite. I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. 
We'd better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Richard, where's Megan? She reported in yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microchem labs. I think she's running. Damn it. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! All right, I'm back, and we have taken control of Adam Jensen, and let's get into the details of this walkthrough. Number one, this is going to be a real walkthrough. I know I attempted a blind playthrough uh, earlier on. I can't remember how long ago that was, maybe uh, six months ago, uh, maybe longer. Anyways, uh, this game is not at all suited to a blind playthrough. Um, it's, it really deserves a real walkthrough. And uh, why? What is, what's, what's going on, Slack? Or how did you come to this decision to play Deus Ex Human Revolution? Well... Um, this has been a common question a lot of people ask, not a lot, but a few people asked, Slack, if you had all the time in the world, what game on your shelf would you play just for fun? And I thought that was a good question, so I, I thought about it and said, you know what, this is the game I would play just for fun. If I was like completely, if I was like retired, you know, I had all the time in the world, this is the game that, um, I played a little bit and never really finished it off and never really had time to get into it and... This just kept sticking out my mind over and over again. Um, this one. So um, I played it for a weekend and said to myself, this is a fantastic game. Even though it's got this audio sync problem with the uh, automatic weaponry, you can see it right there. The, um, the audio for automatic weaponry is about, it lags behind the video about a second which really threw me off but there's so many other weapons in this game that doesn't really matter I can do without the machine pistol and the assault rifle so that doesn't really matter all right so that's that that's how I came to this decision this is actually um, one of my top three 21st century games all right this is that good I'm gonna give it a 9.5 I think this game is that good I finished it completely uh, a couple weeks ago and yeah, yeah, I think this is a fantastic game. It's very slick, it's intelligent, it's clean. Uh, Adam Jensen is a good personality. Um, it has quick saves. It's just a very well-made game. The only thing is the audio lag problem for automatic weaponry. Other, other than that, uh, yeah. So about this run, uh, the opening part of this run, uh, I'm gonna call it the 10 Praxis Points in Detroit run. What I wanna do is I wanna collect 10 Praxis points in Detroit, but I don't want to spend them. I want to have them all available to me uh, just before I leave Detroit. This game takes place in several different locations. I won't reveal the other locations, but um, the opening part takes place in Detroit, and when you finish that part, I would say you're about 10 or 15 percent into the game. And this is something I became very intrigued with right away, as I wanted to see how many Praxis points I could collect without having to spend any, all right? And that number is approximately 10 before leaving Detroit. So the whole idea is to have a save game near that point, just when you're just about to leave Detroit, where you've got like a ton of Praxis points to play around with. And at that point, you can just build any kind of character you want. If you want to go all stealth, you know, you can build yourself a stealth character. If you want to go lethal, you build yourself a lethal character. The whole point is just to have options. It's all about options, okay? And at that point in the game, I also want to have a whole bunch of weapons stockpiled in Adam's apartment and a bunch of weapon mods stockpiled in, we in Adam's apartment, but not applied, okay? Just stockpiled. So once again, it's all about choices, okay? So you have like 10 Praxis points to play around with and a whole bunch of weapons and weapons mods, weapon mods to play around with. Um, yeah, so that's the whole point of this run, the opening part of this run, 10 Praxis points in Detroit. Um, I'm not going to go stealth the whole game, okay? I'm going to go stealth just for the opening part to try to get as much XP as possible, alright? I'm going to be a bit of an XP whore. I'm going to go for like uh, ghost XP bonuses, um, explorer XP bonuses like traveler and explorer and whatnot like that. And um, 
yeah, just try to get as much XP as possible. Do all the side missions and etc. Um, one thing I won't be doing is hacking every device. Uh, the hacking is fun, but I just find it gets, it kind of overtakes the game. If you hack every single device in the game, it just becomes too tedious. And I don't want this walkthrough to be like a, a bazillion hacks. Okay, that's, that's not going to make an interesting walkthrough, okay? So I'm going to go in the other direction. I'm going to try to find all the access codes. Um, well, not all of them, but of as many access codes as I can. There's a lot of access codes to be found in the game. You just found them around the gamescape in pocket secretaries and on other people's computers and whatnot. So I'm going to try to find as many access codes as possible so that as you're watching this walkthrough, you, as the viewer, will have a choice. You can either use the access codes or you can hack every device, right? Um, now, I came up against a brick wall with Captain Penn's computer in the police station. No one can find this access code in the game. I believe the code is Apophenion, A-P-O-P-H-E-N-I-O-N. But nobody knows where that came from. I think somebody maybe just posted it from the official game guide. But this access code cannot be found anywhere in the game. If you know where it is found in the game, please post a comment. And don't post that, like, that phony, it's behind a bookcase uh, hint, because that that's bullshit. That, it, everyone says that, you know, you could be found behind a bookcase, and then People ask, well, which bookcase? And nobody can come up with the details of exactly which bookcase, right? So don't post that one. We all know that one is bullshit, right? Um, so it, when it came to Captain Penn's computer, I couldn't get past that. It's a level two computer, and I had to spend one Praxis point to get Capture 2 in order to get into that computer in order to complete that side quest, because that side quest um, will give you a lot of XP. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend one Praxis point in order to get 10. All right, so that's about it. Um, I'm not gonna. Did I say I was gonna go stealth the whole game? Anyways, like, I'm not gonna go stealth the whole game. I'm gonna go stealth for the opening part, okay? For the ten, ten praxis points in Detroit part, and after that, it's gonna be a mix of stealth and lethal, mostly lethal because I just love the shotgun. <laughs> yeah, surprise, yeah. I love the shotgun in the game, and I also like the revolver with explosive rounds. I think that's a great weapon too. All right. So that's pretty much it. That's all. That's all I got to say about uh, the intro of this walkthrough. Um, this commentary is dubbed. Most of the rest of the commentary will be recorded. Will be recorded live while playing the game. Um, but this commentary I dubbed it because I just had so much to say, and there was no way I'd be able to do all that um, while um, doing the opening there. And in the opening, I was also being an XP whore. You can actually gain XP on the nine enemies that you kill in the opening, okay? So I was going for headshots all the way, all right? If you notice, go back and watch. I got headshots on all of them, and that starts me off with 180 XP. I'll show you in a minute. I think I pretty much covered all the bases. Let's just watch this, and then I'll close out. Adam, it's David. You in the building? Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Okay, so we have two objectives. Go see Frank Pritchard and um, go to the helipad. And here I'm going to show you, I got 180 points, 180 XP points for getting headshots on all the nine enemies in the opening part there. Right, so that's it. My XP whore, uh, the 10 Praxis points in Detroit run is off to a good start. And I'm going to call it this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old slacks there a thumbs up. Alright, see you next time.